in this video we're going to learn how to solve problems involving poisons probability distribution with the calcium pcg 50 graphic calculator not that you this video i guarantee you that you'll be able to solve problems involving poisons probability distribution with the calcium fscg 50 graphing scientific calculator in seconds especially for multiple choice questions so i'm sure you stay with me to the very end of this video guys because you're going to learn a lot so i'm going to simplify everything okay so having done that let's look at the question we have here before we get the calculator okay the question says a doctor was required to examine the quantity of white blood cell using a fixed volume of blood sample it is known that some fixed volume contain four white blood cells what is the probability that a specimen from an individual will contain no white blood cell one white blood cell two white blood cells at least three white blood cells at most three white blood cells and one or two white blood cells okay so guys very simple i'm going to show you now so let's begin with getting the calcium calculator okay so this is the calcium calculator now the very first have to do with this calculator the sensor we see the calculator is wipe out for the previous value you might have stored on the calculator very important guys so so you see the calculator with the clarity all you have to do is to go to system so you navigate the system using this navigation button okay so this is system when you get here you press execute execute for this calculator stand for equal to okay so when you get here, you press f5 for we say step f6 next switch then when you get press f2 to initialize for the f1 and it's beginning to initialize for as indicated here okay so we're going to solve these problems pricing distribution let me say okay i'm going to show you okay so it's done when is it all right now next we're going to do with to put the calculator in distribution mode very important that's the mode we're going to work with to, to put it in distribution mode navigate to distribution using this navigation button so this distribution for execute when you get here you see poison option three so you go to poison when you get the press execute okay now this place is critical guys when you misplace any value here i went to get the entire solution for survey one to pay attention now for this question our x value will be this respective parameter we have to find when there is no white blood cell when there is one white blood cell when there is two white blood cells when there is at least three white blood cells and the rest of them whereas our lambda will be this four white blood cell here and the question this fixed volume contain four white blood cells so that will be our lambda the fixed volume that contain four white blood cells okay having done this let's go ahead and begin to solve the problem so let me with the x value so let me press the i of this so we ask to what's the probability that a specimen from an individual will contain no white blood cell so here our x will be one zero executes our lambda is four is fixed okay so now once you have done this one more thing very important guys don't stop it when x is less than or equal to all right you're going to solve when x is an equality value okay so to put an equality sign for x here we're going to press f4 for it so as you can see we have a quality sign here now so let's go ahead now and get the probability that is facing for my individual it contain no white blood cell so let's wait to quit for answer okay so this is the probability that is facing for an individual it contain no white blood cells now to get the probability that is facing for my individual it contain one white blood cells which is i i of it i have to do is to go to a seat okay so remove this zero and put one where is it quit it has something like that guys so what we have have it to be so point zero seven three two so we get the probability that the specimen from an individual it contain two white blood cells so we go back to is it remove this one and put two that you guys very simple where is it quit again so this will be the probability that a specimen from an individual it contain two white blood cells so we have it to be zero point one four six five okay now to get the probability that a specimen for my individual I contain at least three white blood cells let's go back let me show you what we're going to do 
Now this time I want, so let's change the x value to be 3. The lambda is fixed, all right? So now once I've done this, where is the quiz? Now you will go to under this L, okay? I'm not going to solve when x is an equality sign. Okay, you're going to solve for at least when x is greater than or equal to sign. All right, so to do that, you press F3 for it. Now, this is going to say I change to greater than or equal to. That's what press execute. Now, this will be the result. We have it to be 0 0.7618. Now, the probability that a specimen from an individual will contain at most two white blood cells. All you have to do is to go to this first exit. This time around, the three is the same. So all you have to do now would be to change this sign to less than or equal to. But at most, you work with less than or equal to, or at least you work with greater than or equal to. So since you want to get for at most, change it to less than or equal to, press the power for it, that's what pays the quits. So what the answer will be 0 0.4334. It's as simple as that, guys. Now, to get the value for the result for the last person of it, we have to find what is the probability that a specimen for my individual contain one or two white blood cells. Now, very simple, guys. This is simple mathematics. Let me show you. Now, in probability, when we talk about all, the word all signifies addition. So, all you have to do now will be to add the probability that a specimen for my individual contain one white blood cell we start of two white blood cells it's as simple as that guys so let's go back and do that of one white blood cell and two white blood cells again so remember i'm going to work with the quality sign for it the press f4 for it so we have put one to get the results so play the quiz play the quiz again so we have it to be 0 0.0 seven three two now let's go back and do for that of two white blood cells press exit okay then we are put two press the quits press the quits again so we have it to be what zero point one four six five okay right now let's add the two values so let's press exit go to menu right Go to one matrix, press the quits. Okay, so let's add the two values. The first one we got to be 0 0.0732. Okay, 0 0.0732. I wrote down the values. Okay, plus that is about one to be 0 0.1465. Okay, so that's it. Let's press execute now. So this will be the probability that a specimen from an individual contains one or two white blood cells. So it's as simple as that, guys. So this is basically how you can solve problems in robbery, fighting, probability distribution with the see FP, CD50, graphene, scientific calculator in seconds, so multiple choice quiz. So we something interesting from this video. If you are new to the channel, you should just subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Make sure you comment on this video. Now, if you want to learn, please to have any please, please don't ask. We pick the question in the comment section and then we try to give a response. That's for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit calculate once you're done. All you have to do is to go to menu, then navigate to system. Okay, using this navigation button. Okay, so this is system. Press the quits. Press F5 resets. F6. F3 initialize for F1. And it will get initialized for as indicated here. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching once more. See you in my subscribe video. Press visit. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching.